So day one outside on the range. I know. Finally get to see you hit golf balls live. Hello. Hi Bella. Nice Welcome. to see you. Hello. Welcome to Duke's Meadows. Hi James, how are you? Very good, thank you. This feels so weird. Open air now, isn't it? It's here. Finally, I'm out of my garden. I'm not hitting balls into a net that has a shed behind it. And I can actually see Barry face to face and it makes such a difference. And I've now learned that maybe a lot of my shots on Zoom were a bit fluky. So now, um, yeah, I'm actually facing it in the cold light of day and I've still got so much to learn. Yes! So that wasn't bad, was it? No, that was good! <laughs> but it didn't go quite as far because of what reason? Because the towel. Because the towel, still great. Because you bottomed out too early, that's I right. still hit the towel. I think the, the initial things are that uh, most golfers want to hit the ball a up in the air, but they want to hit the ball a long way as well. So yeah, I think at the minute we're working on ball striking on the face, we're working on how we hit the floor. We're using some more lofty clubs in the bag initially to help us out with some of that elevation. But yeah, we've got a few things to work out there, but we're often running on a, a good pace already. So first things first, putting room slightly different to your mat. Yes. So we're going to start small. So nice. I mean, we're into spring. The sun is shining today. It's just the best day. It's so nice seeing a full car park here as well and so many people around. But more importantly than that, Alice and I have only met over Zoom. Yeah. So it's been so nice to meet her finally and get some actual face-to-face -face time. So the idea of this is that we use your shoulders and yeah, that we don't not. use your hands. Yeah. The majority of people's shots are from 50 yards and in. So I think it's really important to start at the base and work up from there. Um, some coaches might go a different way, but it's getting the shoulder movement and then building blocks from there and moving up. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, on the golf course, finally. Thank goodness for that. New territory though. So, it's not just whacking into a net. So. Yeah, I'm absolutely... Loving this. That's lovely. I'm an outdoorsy person. I wander around here aimlessly, normally, with my dog and my kids. So to actually have a sport, and a sport that I can get stuck into, is just ticking all the boxes for me. Oh, two, not enough juice. I'm not going to do anything really technical with her. I'm just going to play as much as possible with her and just get her on the golf course, get her used to it. We're going to try and play with different people so that she can get used to that pressure. <laughs> um, so that there's no tension around her game and then just play. Lovely shot. Awesome. No. Perfect. I'm not naturally sporty, I'm not naturally fit, I'm not naturally talented, but I will work hard and I will try. And I think that's probably what Steph and I have in common. I will try and I will listen and hopefully that pays dividends. Lockdown's been tough for everyone. I mean, you, you, you're stuck indoors for 90% of the time and with two young kids trying to homeschool, I just didn't even have the chance to take the wrappers off my golf clubs. Right, we've got to do two more. First of all, it's just teaching them basics, a bit like we've done today, going grip, posture, the idea of the golf clubs, what we're expecting out of the golf clubs, um, and just giving a bit of an idea. And try not to give too much information in terms of overthinking you anything. Is your hands pretty much falling below your shoulders. Is that open enough? Yeah, try not to work it at the beginning, oh. but in the move. In the... So much to remember. I think that's the thing with golf is that you've got to try and factor it into your, your schedule. Once it's in, I can so see why it's addictive and you don't want to leave it. I mean, I'm supposed to be picking the kids up in a minute, but they can wait five, right? Very good. That's it. We've already done a lot more than I expected we'd do. Easily in a first lesson, you could spend most of the time going over grip, posture, not going from a seven iron. We've already worked up to a six iron and now the rescue would. So we've done a lot more today than you could easily do. Today reinforced that feeling when you know you've hit it well. But what James was able to do was break it down and show me why I was able to hit it better. But crucially, actually, the one I found most interesting is that you want to try and hit the ground after you've hit the ball. I never knew that. Straight for it, look at that. <laughs> 
she's awesome. She's already getting fours on par threes. Like, that was the best start I could ask for. She practices all the time. She's great. This is going to be a good challenge. This has a real emotional attachment because if I think of my dad, I think two things. I think farming and golf. And he's always wanted me to play golf. I've never had the time or inclination, but I've just hit that bit of life where my kids are both in full-time school. So it, this has filled a hole that I didn't know I had in my life. Bessa. It shows that anyone can do it and that it's accessible to anyone, but also it gives uh, some, some people role models that might not necessarily think that golf is the first sport that they want to try. So it's a great initiative. <laughs> the journey's going well, but I feel like this is the next stage and a really important stage now that we're actually on the course. I feel like I've done a lot at home, but there's only so much you can do. And it's been nice to come here and see that actually putting some of that into practice, but also thinking about all the other elements to go around with it. It feels so good when you hit one. It's like that connection, I call it like the crack point. It's like it goes crack, 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 crack. <gasps> yes! And then you just see it fly and it's like, yes, I did that. And I want to get that every time. Do you know what that was? What, what was that? That was a Wentworth Prime shot. Oh, that was a Wentworth Prime <laughs> shot. <laughs> With Bazza on my team, I think I'll be all right. I think we're seeing here now that there's a few shots where we're starting to get some elevation, we're starting to get some ball flight. There's also that frustrating stage where at the beginning of the journey it doesn't quite come initially, but Fleur's always asking questions, which is great. That's exactly what I want as a coach. So, yeah, no, it's good. It's been, it's been okay. It's been interesting. It's been a good, good challenge. So I've really enjoyed it so far. <laughs> Woo! See, I'm a good coach. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're, you're hard. There you go. Look at that fly. Double points! Well done! Lindsay, how many points have you got? <laughs>